G'day, this is Simon from the Brackets here at South OC Cars and Coffee. It keeps getting crazier and crazier and crazier. We are absolutely packed, overflowing. Uh, the second lot's filled up. We're gonna have to start putting people downstairs. It is insane. Some great cars here as well. Let's swing the camera around and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna roll through this quickly because there's so many cars here. So my Camaro, then we got David's Ferrari, then Tony's beautiful F12. Look at that first one. I know, it's pretty impressive, huh? The guy that owns it is a bit... No, I won't say that about me. <laughs> uh, Gary's 458 Italian. Uh, more, more Ferraris, more Ferraris. This beautiful McLaren, that interesting colour. Another McLaren. And then uh, Jay's Ford GT. Beautiful Aston Martin. And then a, uh, another Lambo. Another Lambo. Wow. McLaren. Ferrari. Um, beautiful Lambo in this uh, blue and uh, blue and red interior. Green McLaren. A uh, Maserati. Lambo. Couple of uh, R8 Audis. Very nice looking GT2 RS next to the Hello, man mate. himself. Michael in his GT3 RS. It's not bad for a slow car. Another GT3 RS. He knows I'm joking. Another really nice Porsche. That thing, that red one, quick as anything. Uh, Porsche, GT3 RS. And what's happening, it's like really? Porsche again, another Porsche. Another Lambo. Another McLaren, look at the wheels on that. Kind of special, look at this. Very interesting, really nice. Uh, Porsche, that uh, track car that we've had as a car of the week previously. Viper, then a couple more Porsche. Look at these two, this is pretty for sale. Let's jump around the other side. We filled up that other section as well, so let's have a look at that. GT3 RS, GT3 RS, another 911. Lots of 911s through here, really nice. Another Porsche, another Porsche. Uh, next to it, S2000, just jumping through this guy, uh, group of guys here. We've got a um, couple of clubs here this morning. Uh, McLaren, and then uh, Mustang, BMW, another BMW, another one, another Mustang, R35. Lightning, they were a quick truck. Look at that Kenny Bell supercharger on the top, very cool, beautiful Bronco, very neat. Running that FI tech, great fuel injection system. So, if you're running a, an engine with a standard uh, intake manifold like this has got, um, you can run fuel injection without having to go and change the whole intake on it. And this is a really cool way of doing it. You basically uh, fit it like you would a standard four barrel carburetor, and then you um, it needs an O2 sensor as well, and it measures air intake with, with its own built in MAF sensor. Uh, most modern cars have the MAF sensor and the intake. Anyway, this has it integrated. Uh, and then basically, uh, once it can see those, the fuel trims and it can see the, the O2 readings out of the exhaust, you just have to weld a bung in the exhaust and, and fit the sensor. You can tune this up like a fuel injected vehicle. So better horsepower and better economy as well. And not that uh, sort of fumey uh, gasoline smell you get from a carburetor. Very cool. Uh, BMW, Porsche, and another Porsche. Right, rolling around, James's SS1 LE. Okay, so this is worth spending a bit of time on. This is Mark's uh, brand new, uh, it's a GT3 Touring. And what does that mean? It's like your regular GT3, except it has some nice subtleties about it. Uh, for instance, you'll notice there's no rear spoiler. So if you're not intending on tracking this thing, it's a really nice, subtle way of having the performance of a GT3 uh, in a more, uh, you know, fly under the radar standard 911 look. I love this thing, love the colour. Hope the camera's picking it up. It's not metallic, which I really like. It's a beautiful blue. The other thing about this car, which is kind of cool, if you can see in there, um, it's actually a six speed as well, which is great as well. That is really pretty. I love the silver stripe. Love the wheels. Such a nice looking car. He's uh, had this on order for ages, and it's great to see it this morning. Uh, another beautiful blue, this lovely McLaren. Love that color. Porsche and that green. Couple of uh, Camaros side by side, Gen 6s. Porsche GT350. Porsche again, a uh, group of BMW guys through here. Look at all of these guys, M5, with a ring in there. Honda, another Honda, Acura, BMW again, another BMW. Got a uh, supercharged uh, Cherokee here, and a uh, Subaru BRZ. Back to this club, BMWs through here, look at them all. Serious carbon fiber hood on this guy here. Another one, love that grey, two of the grey side by side, looks really nice. Another one through here, a lot of work done to that one. Another one. Very cool, we welcome clubs, love to have you along. Just please give us some notice so we can put some space aside for you. And then finally at the end of Porsche. Beautiful Mercury Woody there. 
a couple of Volkswagens. Look at this one. Very cool. Cobra replica. Baja Bud next to the way it would have looked originally. That beautiful Volkswagen there. A thing. Morris Minor, a thousand Woody. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I think, I dare I say, the one of the most gutless cars I ever rode in. A friend of mine when we were kids growing up on a farm. He was in the closest farm next to me. He had one of these to uh, tear around in on the farm. <laughs> gutless as anything, but still very cool. M3, Porsche. Grand Wagoneer. Uh, this is kind of cool. Saw this thing pulling in. 34. Really uh, subtle. Love the, the fact it's got the steel wheels on the back. Just a you know, classic bench seat. Very nice. Nice little car. In there, through the vents, I don't know if you can see it's running a small block Chev. Uh, next to it, uh, one of our regulars. Great looking forward truck there. And then a uh, Chevy truck there. This is worth a conversation about. This is uh, Bert's um, Pontiac GTO 1970. I was lucky enough, Pete's, his son's been driving out. Um, and uh, the other night, Pete and I went out cruising in this thing. I, I had the fortune to be able to take this for a drive and then we had to pick up my daughter, Sophie, from school. So we picked her up in this. She thought all the Christmases had come at once. Very, very, very nice car. Love driving it. It was such an honor to be able to get behind the wheel of this thing. Just a classic car. And I'm gonna give myself a bit of a plug about the Bracketeer. Bert was the first commercial sale that I had done of the Bracketeer. So you look down here, there is the very first commercial sale of the Bracketeer. And interestingly, it was this very car that gave me the idea of putting the extra holes in it so it could be seat mounted like that. So very cool, love it, absolutely love it. Moving along. Saab, of course, a brand that's fallen away here in the US and other parts of the world, but it has been rebirthed back in Sweden, which is good just for the Swedish market. Of course, this was the classic Saab. This is when they still owned it themselves, running that uh, turbo engine. Now, quite, quite an interesting car. Um, Fiat 124, this cool looking van we've had here before running a uh, blown small block shed with a V-drive from a boat. Beautiful, beautiful looking uh, 69 Camaro here. Um, worth pointing out, a couple of uh, snails on the front of this thing. Beautifully done, look at that engine. Wow, that's neat. Really nicely done, so twin turbo. Uh, R8, Porsche, Paul's El Camino. Another beautiful 69, a hug orange, Z28, running that 302. This thing's interesting, I saw this come in, running a V8. Um, Kenny Bell supercharger on top too, so this would not be any sort of slouch, that's kind of cool. Uh, Spider, and then Mustang, Jaguar, really nice blue. Another beautiful uh, 69 Camaro running that LT4 supercharge engine. Uh, Cobra, this is really pretty. Check this thing out. But original wow. Look at that. This, this is certainly a contender for Car of the Week. Beautiful old Ford. Isn't that lovely? Do one of you gentlemen own this? No. No? It's a contender for Car of the Week, that's for sure. It's pretty. It is. Uh, Mustang. Robert's Mustang. First, first one of Andrews. This great old Jeep here. And then another Mustang here. El Camino. Running a very clean... Um, 383 in it. Uh, really interesting headers. Tune length headers, obviously. Notice how those back pipes are hooked up and around. The whole concept of that is most headers, they the, the pipes are different lengths. Obviously, the further you get towards the back, the shorter the pipe tends to be. And so what a lot of guys will do is they'll tune these headers so that the volume of the header is the same. It just helps with scavenging, and it just means that you don't have unequal back pressure on each cylinder based on the length of the header pipe. Uh, a Kia Sting, a quick car, twin turbo, V6 all drive. Chevelle, great looking Volkswagen Beetle. Look at that, very nice, very nice. Uh, RX-7, Mustang, another Mustang here. The shaker on the hood, uh, Shelby. GT350, another one, another one, look at them all. Another one, that's that uh, bullet color, which is nice. Yeah. This is pretty classic, look at that. Jeep, and then uh, 30, 34 Ford, Chevy, AMG, Corvette, Challenger, a uh, Volvo, a uh, Corvette. I wish you could smell this thing. If any of you have ever flown on airplanes, this is what they smell like. It's really cool. Hello. Corvette. Austin Healy, 3000. Infinity. 
Audi, BMW, like the orange. Another BMW rolling through here. Kind of cool. M3, Volkswagen, Beetle, Porsche, Volkswagen camper bus. Look at the roof. Kind of cool. And another Porsche here. Chevy C10, running a small block. Volkswagen, beautiful Porsche, another old Porsche there. And a newer one here. This is a previous winner of Car of the Week winner as well. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Triumph, TR6, Porsche. Turbo S, Porsche. A uh, Aston Martin, BMW, Audi. Couple of them in the row. And then a uh, Corvette, Z06. And then the Rockwell's food truck. So this is kind of classic, isn't it? Look at this old Volvo. Of course, made famous by Roger Moore's first uh, TV appearance in a, a TV show. Well, probably not his very first, but he was in a, a series called The Saint, and he drove one of these, and that's what brought the claim of fame. You know, like just like uh, the claim for Aston was the uh, whole James Bond thing, this was uh, what made them famous. Ben, uh, Mercedes, smell that RX-7, amazing. ZL1, really, really nice LSA supercharged engine. Cobra, Honda, S2000, and then uh, newer and older Corvette. Roll them through here, which is kind of cool. Dodge Hellcat Charger, supercharged engine. Corvette, Camaro, 106 Honda. Integra Type R, fastest uh, front wheel drive car time around Nürburgring. This is kind of cool, an old hot rod there. Subaru, an old Ford that was. Subaru, uh, Corvette, Mustang, Chevy 2 over here. And then our group of regulars. My pleasure, good morning guys, my pleasure. Chevy, that's a 270, a 240Z, that's a 1970 model. Great looking old Ford, hot rod there, couple of them side by side. I know. Cutlass here. And then a very tough sounding 56 Chevy that pulled in running a blind small block. Uh, very cool. Look, this thing, love the sound of it. Very tough. Tack with shift light on it, BM shifter. Nicely done, really nicely done. Right, let's jump around the other side. Great looking old Chevy. Bronco. Bit of serious engine work going on under here. This thing looks like a means business, which is kind of cool. A uh, 570 S McLaren. Porsche leaving us here. Got to show this to you because of the colour. Um, really, I've never seen anything like it. I, not my thing, I must admit, but you know, it is different. May make it a collector's item in years to come because it's a rare colour. Thunderbird, a little Nissan here, it's for sale. And then a uh, Subaru. Ah, no, it, uh, Get out the way. Look, you're out of the way of the car. <laughs> I was trying to figure out. I, I thought Subaru, Evo. Subaru is Subaru. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cool looking old Falcon there. A uh, E-Type Jag running a Ford V8 Transplant Corvette. El Camino, a Cobra replica. Okay, so these two side by side are classic. On the right, Total Land Cruiser, um, FJ40, I think. On the left, uh, sorry, F FJ40. And am I guessing it's about a 76 or seven? Yeah, 75. 75, was it? Yeah, and the Telltale, when they got, they later, a couple of Telltales are the later one. Square indicators. And the curve here, later ones that went to a straight line there. Still got the original inline Correct. six, which is so good to see. Very capable. Next to it, Defender. Very, very cool. Uh, if you gave me the choice between both of them and I had to go and survive on them, I'm going to take the Land Cruiser because I have owned a Land Rover once in my life and I still have recurring nightmares about the things that went wrong with it. Great looking car. Very capable when they work and when they break. I've got to go back to therapy. <laughs> Thanks for bringing them out, guys. Great cars. Uh, Gen 6 Camaro, a couple of them side by side. This one running that uh, new uh, Whipple Supercharger. Um, really cool the way they've designed these. Same design as on Robert's car. The actual uh, heat exchanger or intercooler is on, on either side, whereas on mine it forces down through it. So the air actually goes in, comes up, and then goes down through the intercooler. It gives them uh, greater intercooling capacity and also a large capacity on the supercharger. Four litre, which a lot of the others used to be, uh, sorry, three litre, a lot of the others used to be 2.9. Uh, rolling along, LS Twin Turbo. Look at that. Where, the, oh, where are they? Ah, hidden under, hidden. Hidden down the back there. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. ZL1 Gen 6. Another uh, Gen 6 here. And another one. And another one. Great to see. 
older Camaro sitting there. First car I had on the car. Corvette, another Gen 6. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. A uh, 69, a nice blue. Love the blackout stuff on it. Um, look at the uh, big block run on that thing. Old school. I'm a fan. Another 69 and then a Yanko Nova. That thing would be no slouch. Jeep Wagoneer. Not the Grand Wagoneer, just the Wagoneer. Corvette. Fiat 124. AMG. Chevy 2. Look at that. Running a small block in there. Little Alfa Romeo, pretty car for sale. BMW, Porsche, Mercedes, and then a classic Magnum PI Ferrari. Check that thing out. Grew a moustache just looking at it. Wait a minute, I've already got a moustache. Previous car of the week winner. Look at this Roadrunner Superbird. Classic car, love it, absolutely love it. Very worthy winner. Go on our website, back to our website and check it out as car of the week. Uh, next to another Dodge, very cool, of the orange. Another one, Challenger. And it's, look at this, this is great. Love those hidden headlights. New new Mopar muscle, look at that. Roll of them, a couple of them there. Uh, Mustang Supra, a uh, Acura NSX 56 Chevy. A 62 Chevy, I think it is. Really nice old Buick, isn't that great? Love the color. Lovely looking 69 Camaro Z28, running that 302. Corvette, AMX. A, another Camaro here, 327 small block, 67 uh, RS. Interesting uh, trivia. 67s came out with an electric uh, headlight on the front, the, the hidden headlight there. 68, uh, they went to a, a vacuum operated one because in cold climates, the motor was freezing on the 67 or the, or the mechanism was freezing and burning out the motor. Interestingly, most guys who owned these went back to the 67 because it was more serviceable than using the vacuum actuators with the uh, mechanical on the 69. Great looking Chevy's 3100 truck. Really nice, really nice Ford. Jeep, Cuda 340, nice green through there. Mustang, Gen 5 Camaro. Ah, uh, this is kind of cool. Look at this, this, this old old Ford here. Running a uh, Offenhauser heads on that flathead Ford, Ford V8. Love it. Volkswagen. Healthy uh, Chevelle, leaving us there. Volkswagen, built in the road. Ah, interesting. We just talked about that Volvo with uh, Roger Moore and the Saints. This was another iteration of Volvo at this time. Very classic now. Um, I see design cues of this in similar in some of the, the Ferraris that are trying to pick up that shape. I know the purists are going to hate me for saying that, but I just, I do. Mustang. A very cool looking old trailer here with a camper, like a camper oven and everything. BMW M3, 4 GT Mustang, C6 Corvette, and look at that, L82 in that Corvette. Another one here, Pace Car, another little Datsun 240 or 260Z. Another Fiat 124. Pretty uh, Chevelle, I like that colour. Subaru Volkswagen, Porsche. Another Subaru and then a crowd down here around this GT350. Really nice looking car. Wow, this thing's original. Check it out. A, uh, I think this is a 280Z. I could be wrong. Someone might be able to correct me on the on the site. But very clean. Very neat for sale, actually. Uh, Corvette. Mustang. M2. And then we have a tough looking Chevy truck owned, owned by Bruce. M6, Cobra, Honda, grey looking old hot rod, another one running that flathead V8. I love seeing that in these, these, this is a 32. All of these original old cars, a lot of guys have put small block Chevys in them and you know, all power to them or LS. For me, flathead all the way. It just looks like it belongs there, you know. Uh, Mustang, Grand Cherokee, Corvette, Porsche, Chevy truck, really nice looking, um, uh, GTO here. Uh, this is a 65. Look at that um, triple carbs on this thing. Rochester's. Rochester's. Look at them all. That looks great. Mechanical linkage. You know, and people underestimate the power of a Pontiac V8. Interesting, those of you who like me, I love watching Street Outlaws. Great show. Big Chief, who's at, sitting number one on the list so far, has a, 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 a Pontiac engine in his car, which is number one on the list. You know, and there's these guys with with you know 150,000 or whatever motors from people like Proline or Sunnies, Big Chief is running, feeding them all in a, in a uh, with a Pontiac engine. Good to see. El Camino, that's the one that had that camper on behind it before. Got to give you a look at this thing. Check it out. Chevy Deluxe. Very cool. 
this would have been a quite a sporty car in its time. You see that swoop two door look? Very cool. Very cool. Subaru GTI Mustang. Another Mustang here. Hyundai. Another Subi. Couple of them. And rolling along. More of them. A uh, Volkswagen with running air ride. This beautiful uh, RS couple of them side by side. Three, look at them, three of them all in that nice blue. Love that colour. Focus RS, quick cars, very quick cars. Cobra replica, Nissan, M3, Porsche, Subaru. This is the Gran Torino, big old car, look at that. Real survivor. Cool looking, cool looking uh, truck there. Volkswagen. Oh my God. S2000. BMW, Audi, Grand Cherokee, Mustang, and then a Volkswagen bus. Supercharged Mustang, little Lotus Alar, very nice. Lexus, Continental, with great looking, uh, great looking car. Hey, this is kind of nice, isn't it? Look at this old Chevy, Chevy truck that's here, running a small block. I guess it's probably a 327 or a 350. Very simple, probably a 350 or so with a four barrel line. Um, BMW, Callaway Corvette, Mercedes, and then a Challenger BM, uh, Mercedes, another Mercedes, Bronco. Can anybody say OJ Simpson? Uh, F-150, Z06, sounded pretty healthy. Nissan, C7 Corvette, another little uh, Dats in there. Mazda Speed 3. Corvette, Corvette, and another one, another Indy Pace car, two of them side by side, different generations here, kind of cool. Car we saw the other week, a big woody station wagon, looks like it needs the Griswolds on it. Lexus, Miata, Mustang, pretty 68 Camaro, another Bronco, regular, looks good. Another Mazda Speed, or Mazda 3, that one is actually, Audi, GTI, classic old Mustang here. Uh, this is kind of cool, very clean, simple, Bronco, love the wheels, just understated. Nice, nicely done. Corvette, a couple of classics there, another one here. Uh, this thing looked cool when it pulled in, it's a, just, you know, just something a bit different. Black wheels, black bumpers and grill, uh, running an LS transplant. I'll be guessing but it's probably an LS1 or two. Good morning, you too. Camaro, little Chevy there. And then beautiful looking Mercedes drop top. This is pretty. This pulled in earlier. Great color combo, huh? Jeep, Acura. Crazy looking uh, truck here. Bit of work done to that. Challenger. You know, I know people will look at that and go, oh, it's rough. Why do you let it in? The reality is the Tipro guys leaving us in that. Uh, what's the McLaren there? The reason we let them in is if they're passionate about it, why wouldn't we? You know, you don't have to have a big budget to build a car that you have fun with. And that's what this is all about. Jeffrey's Jeep. Very cool looking thing, look at it. Love love everything he's done to this thing. It is um, it is definitely not understated. And I, I wanna give a shout out to, to, to Jeffrey as well. Check that out. He made a South OC Cars and, and uh, Cars and Coffee sticker in his green color for that. The guy's a legend. Also has a bracket to fit into it. Love the sticker on the back. <laughs> Sahara, look at this. Some serious plumbing under there. Holly, Holly uh, cable throttle body, drive by wire, very cool. Uh, Jeep, Jeep, sounded like the road runner then almost. BMW, BMW, another one, Mustang, another BMW, Chevy Impala, couple of uh, Camaros, Gen 6s next to a Gen 5. This Ford truck pulled in sounded pretty tough. And now I can see why, Just look at that. Running dual carbs on it, a couple of uh, Edelbrock carbs. She's, uh, she's bleeding a little bit of oil out of it, but it certainly sounded healthy, that's for sure. Uh, Hyundai, a, no, Honda, Jaguar, Lexus, Volvo. Yes, we let the Swedes in. Nissan, nice looking little NSX there. That's kind of cool, another one next to it. Little tiny Honda, look how tiny this car is. You sort of keep that in the back of your real car to get where you need to go. Huh. SDI, another Shelby there. WRX, Focus. There's Tid Pro's uh, Range Rover there. Porsche, 
one of the original old beach buggies. Check that out. This is the way beach buggies used to be. You know, it's so funny. You look at what people spend these days on trophy trucks. You know, they can be upwards of a quarter of a million dollars. Um, complex, a lot of stuff in them. I bet you, I bet you people used to have as much fun in these things, which owed them basically nothing. Crazy. And next to another one. Sale, actually. Uh, BMW. BMW. Not there's anything wrong with trophy trucks. Just everything uh, in perspective. Subaru and then a Scat Pack Charger. Okay, last row, Porsche, Mercedes, Mustang. Very neat and clean under the hood. Oh yeah. 351? Uh, I think so. You think so? <laughs> well, I'll ask you next week. You need to find out. I'm sure it is actually. Could be a 302 though, I guess. Uh, Porsche, very nice car though, mate. It's a little Suzuki, look at that. Porsche, Maserati, Gen 6 Camaro. A little uh, XV Subaru, Subaru BRZ. Very low running Volkswagen there. Great looking Chevy truck here. For, yeah, look at it. Very neat on this. Nicely painted um, uh, intake, air intake or air cleaner on that thing. Very cool, small block. Just understated, still running the original manifolds. Toyota, another NSX there. S2000, like that blue. Audi, Volkswagen. Very, very capable track. Um, Hellcat, Mustang. Good morning. Challenger, Challenger. Nissan. BMW, Porsche. Very nice looking Alfa Romeo. Like those cars, they're good. Look, I've not looked in the back of one of these before. Let's do that. Interesting, very mid-engine, you know, all that space at the back of it. You look at the back of something like a McLaren and all of that back there is all exhaust. These things truly are mid-engine, engine, which is why they've got such a great 50-50 weight ratio. Very cool. And also cool that they keep a spare engine in the back. So, you know. <laughs> cool, very nice car. Love these cars. This is one of those cars that, that uh, when Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear, now the Grand Tour, drove it, you could tell he wanted to hate it. Although he does say everybody should own an Alfa Romeo at some point in time in their life. He loved this thing, loved it. Uh, BMW, nice carbon fiber hood. Another BMW, winking at us, missing part of its grill. Uh, Toyota truck, another BMW here. BMW, Skyline GT. Little uh, Mitsubishi on air ride there. Mustang, Volkswagen, cool looking old uh, Jeep here. XJS Jaguar. Just come with a big V12 on those things. Uh, Chevy sports fan, Mustang, Cadillac, CTSV. Very nice. A uh, Camaro, another one of these Alphas. Check that out. Two of them here today. RS Focus, and then a Nissan R35, and then a Charger. Some more cars on the front. Porsche, 327 in that 68 Camaro. GT350 Mustang. Mercedes. Well, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Big old uh, Fury. Wow, that's a big car. That's awesome. Love it. 427 Turbojet Corvette. Very nice. Packard. Big old Woody there, and that great Invicta, one of our regulars. Good morning, gentlemen. And then look at this, Rolls Royce, awesome. And finally, finishing up, finish up on this side with uh, Scott and Kathleen's Ferrari. Look at that fairlane. That is awesome. You know, a lot of these cars get overlooked. You know, people will look towards tri fives or whatever. That is cool. Uh, I don't know what year it is. I'm guessing about '59. Very. Good. Right, let's do some motorcycles. Yamaha. This is kind of cool. Nice little KTM. Couple of KTM side by side. Love KTMs. Uh, Honda, I think. Yep. And then a. Uh, what do we got here? Look at this. Love that grey Harley Davidson. Really nice. Another Harley. And then rolling along. What have we? Kawasaki. Harley. Another one. BMW. That's nice. Classic old BMW. Honda. Vespa. And then another KTM. Love that. Love the colour. So that's it for another week of South OC Cars and Coffee. Crazy. Crazy, I feel like I'm herding cats sometimes. Well, this was the biggest herd of cats I've ever had. Uh, great turnout, some great vehicles. Thank you so much. We were overflowing. We ended up sending people downstairs, which is crazy. Of course, the biggest thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We could not do this without them. Please make sure to support the shops in the outlets when you can. They deserve it. Big thank you, of course, to Ruby's as well for bringing out the coffee and the donuts, and of course, Rockwell's for their food truck. Um, I've got to have a hunt around for a car of the week. There's a couple of things I've seen. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick, uh, but make sure to check out the video in a moment.
Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.